I'm talking to Grant Wilson from Rather Dashing Games. Grant, welcome again to the, uh, another show. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, the biggest news is that your Kickstarter for Dwarven Miner was successful. Yes, thank you. That is very cool, and it's what, a week later, if that, and you guys are at Origins, and you have copies of the game already. Exactly, yes. We're fortunate enough, because we make everything in America, that the games, the, the company that manufactures it, said they wanted to make sure we had some here for Origins. We didn't have enough to fulfill all the Kickstarter orders, but we can give them to them a month earlier than, than was expected. But these were made on Monday, and they're here just a few, two days later, which is beautiful. That is great. So not only are you bringing some copies to Origins, but the Kickstarter people will be getting their copies a month before they were supposed to. Which is unheard of on Kickstarter. Yes, it really is. <laughs> see? That, see, game manufacturers are... Uh, uh, that's what you get for everything being made in America. Exactly. Exactly. That's very cool. Huge benefit. How about show me this? It's here. Okay. This is it. So, what we two uh, dwarven miner we call a two tiered crafting. You play as a dwarven miner, and you have patrons that come into your establishment. Okay. And these patrons need to be outfitted with gear in order to go about their merry way. And you, as a miner, have to make these for them. But first, of course, you have to get the resources from your mine in order to make it. So, what we do is we have dice that act as your mine. And you roll the dice on your turn to try to get the right resources you need. Ooh, look at those dice. Yeah. But every die has an orc on it. If you find an orc in your mine, you can't roll that die anymore on your turn. So I can keep going, try to get the right resources I need. And once I do, I can make the items. When I fulfill the, the order, I can then uh, cash in the patron, let me get a better one here. I can cash in the patron, like this alchemist. Uh -huh. I get the victory points, and then I activate the, uh, the patron's special ability. Some of them help you, not everybody else. Some of them help everyone else, not you. Uh -huh. And some of them activate mini games and so forth. Now, you may have noticed on the dice there are these guys, which are burglars. On your turn, you have the backpack, and you can craft as much as you can, but when you're done, everything you want to carry over to your next turn has to fit in your backpack. Oh, Once it's in okay. your backpack, it's susceptible to burglaring by the other players. One, one burglar, you can steal a, a resource. Two burglars, you can steal a crafted item. Three burglars, you can steal from someone's vault if they have made it. Wow. Four, you steal the vault and everything in it. Now. Yes, there are some patrons there that can help protect you. There's a defender that you can protect your vault but can't be stolen from, but someone else could craft a rogue and steal the uh, kill the defender and then take your vault. So it's a lot of fun. That's interesting. It's got it's, a little World of Warcraft in it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, if you like to craft, it's it's, it's a little bit more uh, interactive and active than Catan, but it's definitely not Catan. I'm not married to it, but right. it's, um, it's, a, it's a little bit more... Uh, Sneaky, and there's uh, there's good. yeah there's a subtle sort of strategy as which patrons you you should activate first and and so on and so forth. So the more you play it, the more you get these strategies. Now you, you can see the scoring track. There's a 30 point win. Uh -huh. Some of these patrons are worth 15 points. Oh wow! So it's anybody's game at any point. So once it kind of moves nice, as everyone's kind of building a strategy, once it gets around 15, someone can win in one turn. So it starts to get crazy, and if you have four players, it gets stressful. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. So how long is the game? Um, it's under an hour. Oh, nice. Yep. Uh, the longest game we've played is about an hour. The more people you have, the longer it takes. Um, but uh, we've played, we want it to be a six-player game, and you can play this with six players. We've just provided enough backpacks for four. You can play with ten if you want. It's just going to make a longer game. Right, right. Gotcha. But we have six expansions in the works for it already. Um, wow. they, they don't just add stuff to the game, they radically change the way you play the game. One, one is uh, two of the players are dwarves going into the mine, the other two are orcs coming out of the mine and they draw from different decks. Uh, there's huh. one that's uh, more RPG-like where there are traps and treasures along the way and, and, uh, and one has an auction house, another one has uh, reforgers where you can, you can change items into other items or you can break them back down into the base components. Really? Just, yeah. So it's kind of like a little bit of a new game each time. Yes, and the, the next expansion will bring it up to full six players because there are elements in it that will speed up the game. Okay. But it's a little more cutthroat, so we wanted to start off with this and then be able to bump it up later on. So, yeah. Nice. 
And who did all this incredible artwork to this game? Some moron. No, it's it was me, yeah. I did all the artwork. Mike did the whole game design. He's a pro. Yeah, that's Mike another, Ritchie over there. We have another 20 titles in the works that are bigger and better, but you gotta do wow. it fiscally sound, yeah. Yep. So thanks to Kickstarter this exists. So. That, that's pretty cool. So yeah. thanks to everybody who contributed out there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grant. Thanks for taking a couple minutes to talk to me Thank here. Thank you. Thank you. Always good to see you. <laughs>